Hi everybody, welcome back to Rich Reviews and today we're at one of Hampson Auctions storage locations to provide a preview for our up and coming auction on the 22nd of September. If you're looking to consign a car for this auction then make sure you do so as soon as possible please because the cutoff date for consignments is the 16th of September with the auction only two weeks away on the 22nd of September. Rich Reviews are very proud to announce our new partnership with Hampson Auctions. Hampson Auctions was re-established in 2020 and is privately owned by the Hamilton family, having an endearing family history in car auctions as far back as 1987 with the founding of a specialist auction house in Windsor, Cheshire, followed by inaugurating the famous H&H Classics in 1993. Today we are highlighting a small selection of the incredible cars that have already been consigned for the up and coming auction in two weeks on the 22nd of September. If you are considering selling your car, we would recommend you consigning with Hampson Auctions, but you'll have to be quick because the consignment cutoff day is Monday the 16th of September. So we're just going to showcase a few cars that are headlining this up and coming auction on the 22nd of September. That's in two weeks time. That's only two weeks time. So first of all, we're going to talk you through this stunning Le Mans edition R8. This is a 2011 car. Only 100 Le Mans R8s were made ever in the world. And this is a manual and only 40 manuals were ever made. So only this is one of 40, only 40 manuals out of those 100 cars were ever made. The detailed, these cars were only made in 2011 and they were built to commemorate Audi's 10th victory at La Sarf. This is resplendent in ice metallic silver with a black Napa leather interior with crimson offsets. We'll just take you for a quick walk around the interior. See it's resplendent in this beautiful soft black Napa leather and you've got these crimson offsets. And these crimson offsets were only available as an option for these special Le Mans edition cars. And there highlighted down the center console is of course the manual gear lever. Just moving to the rear you can see it's resplendent with these carbon fiber side blades which is a heavy option of the original styling for the Audi R8. Moving to the back just to talk you through the engine compartment. This has the 4.2 litre V8 FSI engine. FSI stands for fuel stratified injection. And what that actually means is direct port injection. This has 424 brake horsepower, is for 4.2 litre, and will pre propel the car from 0 to 62 in 4.6 seconds as a top speed of 187 miles per hour. Pretty impressive for the 2011 V8 engined car. And as I said, this is one of 40 and only 100 Le Mans editions, including the automatic and the manuals were ever made. And this car is pretty much immaculate. I can see no faults on it. It's resplendent in this beautiful ice metallic silver, which was a special option paint only available for the Le Mans edition R8s. It's just a stunningly beautiful car. So moving across now, we have this stunning 1991 Ferrari Testarossa. Well known, of course, for its side strafes, which provide the air intake into that beautiful 4.9 litre flat 12 boxer engine. The specification of this car is Rosso Corsa over Crema interior. And this is a 1991 car. So this is one of the original early Ferrari Testarossas before they went into the 512 series, but this is the last year of the original Testarossas. So this is the last edition, this is the last version. So if you want a Ferrari Testarossa, this is the latest model. So this is coming up in the two week auction on the 22nd of September. Interestingly, 
This was initially specified as a white specification, white external bodywork with a blue interior. But at the last minute, the original owner changed his mind and a letter went in to Marinello to request this change in specification to this Rosso Corsa with a crema interior. And Marinello replied back and very kindly said, for you, sir, yes, we will change your specification to Rosso Corsa over Crema Interior. That documentation comes with this car. Great heritage for this car. As you can see, it's got this stunning Crema Interior and burgundy carpets, which really offsets well with a Crema Interior. Quite a classic specification. If you move around to the rear, this stunning Testarossa. Of course, the original Testarossas were renowned for the, the series Miami Vice, but they were the white series. There we have it. And this is a 12 cylinder flat boxer. It's not a V12. A lot of people perceive this engine to be a V12. It isn't. It's a flat 12 boxer. As you can see here, these are the actual cylinders where you have the pistons in these cylinders. And it's called a boxer engine because they are horizontally opposed and they throw out against each other. This will propel the car from 0 to 62 in 5.5 seconds and it has a top speed of 180 miles per hour. And the brake horsepower on this is 385 brake horsepower. So 5.5 seconds, 0 to 62, and 180 miles per hour top speed. Pretty impressive. And one of the few Ferraris to have a mid-engine mounted flat 12 longitudinally mounted. Stunningly beautiful car. Really love these Testarossas. This is a really classic statement, these cars. Absolutely stunning addition as well. They look stunning in Rosso Corsa Rover Crema. Beautiful, beautiful car. Moving across now to this stunning California on my far right. This is a 2013 Ferrari California, and this is pretty much immaculate. This car only has 5,400 miles on the clock. 5,400 miles. It looks pristine. It looks like it's just come out of the factory. This specification is resplendent in Rosso Corsa, over a black Nero interior. This was the first convertible to have a hard tin roof. This is the first Ferrari to have a seven speed dual clutch transmission. And this is the first Ferrari to have a longitudinally mounted front mounted V8 engine. So this is a car of first. This is a very special car. And this is the 2013 model. In addition, that seven speed dual clutch transmission, that is also featured in the 458. It was initially proved in the California, and it's called the, the Gatrag seven speed dual clutch transmission, or as we know it, DCT. If we take a look at the interior here, we've got this stunning black Nero interior and very specially optioned in this car, as it is very highly optioned. We have the Ferrari driving zone, which provides this carbon fiber steering wheel with the rev LED lights. It has a carbon fiber center console, as again, it's very specially optioned and stunningly beautiful and specially optioned on this particular car. It has the Daytona leather seats, which is also carried forward into the rear as well, which again is a very rare option. So you've got da the Daytona seats on the rear seats as well, the Daytona leather options on the rear seats. Stunningly beautiful. This car is pristine. It's pretty much immaculate. And the real kicker, it has no reserve. This car has no reserve, which is absolutely incredible. I'll go through the estimates on the other cars, on the other two cars on the R8 and the Testarossa in a minute, but this car has no reserve and only 5,400 miles. That is absolutely incredible. This car is pretty much mint. It is immaculate. Stunningly beautiful Ferrari California. This is known as the California 30. And this is the second edition of the original Californias. It's called the Californian 30 because it is 30 kilograms lighter than the original California and it has 30 brake horsepower more than the original California. This has the 4.3 litre naturally aspirated V8, which pushes out 483 brake horsepower and 372 pound foot of torque. It will propel this car from 0 to 62 in 3.8 seconds as it has a top speed of 194 miles per hour. And this car has no reserve, only 5,400 miles and no reserve. That's absolutely incredible. If you're looking for a California, this is the car to have. No doubt, this is the car to have.
To quickly summarise the cars that we're showcasing for the up and coming auction on the 22nd of September, this beautiful 2013 Ferrari California has only 5,400 miles and is no reserve. Moving along to the 2011 R8 Le Mans edition, this has 33,000 miles and is estimated to achieve between 50 to 60,000 pounds at auction. Moving across to the Ferrari Testrossa, this is a 1991 Ferrari Testrossa, which is the last series, the last year for the original Testarossas before it went into the 512 series. This has 62,000 miles in, and is estimated to achieve between 80 to 100,000 pounds at auction. If you're looking to consign your car for this auction, the auction is on the 22nd September and the consignment closeout date is the 16th of September. So you've only got a very short period to get your cars consigned. So if you're considering selling your car, I would recommend that you consign them with Hampson Auctions for the 22nd of September. And as I say, the cutoff date for consignment is the 16th of September. So you don't have very long, so get your cars in quickly.